Now let's move to celebration. As Osho State celebrated 33 years of its existence, the wife of the Osho State Governor, Erilu Ungozi Adeliki, also marked our 51st birthday. Erilu Adeliki used the special day to launch a new pet project, Esther Adeliki Foundation. Trust us, NTO Shubo was there and covered the double celebration of a woman of vision and compassion. The report. Activities to mark the celebration of the 51st year of the wife of Osho State Governor, Ere Lungozi Adeliki, commenced with a visit to University of Oshun Teaching Hospital, where she donated cash and items to patients. And I pray I will be able to be here next year. Amen. Yes. Still do it in the eight years. Yes. eight years. It was yes. eight years. Yes. Okay? Yes. I said for the eight years of Imole, yes. that's what it will be able to eat of focus. Yes. Thereafter, she proceeded to a well decorated venue in Ede, where the guest list was a blend of political figures, traditional rulers, business moguls, and celebrities all gathered to honor Erelu Ngozi Adeliki. In a usual elegant style, Erelu Ngozi Adeliki arrived in a stunning dress. Her entrance was met with admiration from the congregation, a testament to her charisma and the deep respect she commands. <laughs> Exhortation, thanksgiving, and special prayer characterize the event. Jesus Christ, I come meet you. The Lord keep you. The Lord bless you. The Lord make this place to shine upon you. He shall be gracious unto you. And the best of God, the Father Almighty, Son, and the Holy Spirit be on you, your family, and all the rivers of life now and forevermore. Amen. At a grand reception, the husband of the celebrant and governor of Ocean State. Senator Adimola Adeliki joined other guests for the official launching of the foundation of his wife named Esther Adeliki Foundation, while a book written by Erulu Ungozi Adeliki was also unveiled. The governor has this to say about the foundation and his wife at 51. Dignitaries extolled Erelu Ngozi Adeliki as a great personality who radiates love for the people always. Very caring, and she loves her husband. Please follow so the I know these are people that will not. That is promise. why. The governor invited some of us from outside of Shu State to come today to help celebrate his wife. Compassionate, she's a kind-hearted woman, loving, and she's a woman of God. She's always been a wonderful person. She's a model of nature. She's very accommodating, friendly, and we're always happy to be around her. Always willing to assist the less privileged. She has ears for the voiceless and she's filling the gap. Erilungozi Adeliki thanked everyone present for making her day special as she reaffirmed a commitment to championing causes that uplift women, children and the less privileged in Osho State. To God Almighty. It's not by my power, it's not by my might. But by the Spirit of God that made it happen. My advice to the youth, I keep saying the youth should be coming down. Take it one day at a time. One day at a time. Slowly but surely. With prayers, there's nothing you cannot achieve. If one person or the other achieved it in this life, you too will achieve it. Do you understand? But with the right attitude. I've already started it, which is the empowerment for women. Training. I still have in September, I have another batch, the batch two. After batch two, I have batch three. That ends it this year. Next year, we take off again. In empowerment for a bracket. IT for my youth. Everything. So many things coming up at the same time. With the celebration, it was clear that 
Erelu Ngozi, our delegate 51st birthday, was not just about celebration of service, but also to celebrate a woman who has become a true symbol of grace and leadership. Femi Afariogun, NTA News.